Rob, the merger between cement companies Holson Lafarge has been on and then off and then back on again. It's anything but concrete. What's the latest? Well, it would appear that rationality has broken out in the cement industry of all places. Who'd have thought? Which is a latter-day miracle if I have ever seen one. So it seemed this week that conflicts over the exchange ratio, it's an all-share deal, so the ratio at which the shares of, the, of Wholesome will buy out Lafarge was no longer acceptable. They had a fight over that, and they had a fight over management. They've resolved both fights. The deal is signed, and it's going to be one company now. So let's start with the management. What's going on there? So uh, Bruno Lafont, who was to be the head of the new company, he's currently the CEO of Lafarge, uh, is now not going to be the head of the new company. He is going to be a co-non-executive chairman of the company. He has been kicked upstairs. Uh, and the head of the company, the chief executive, will be chosen by Lafarge later, after the deal is closed. So they'll kick the, the can down the road on that one. They kick the, kick the deal on the, the can down the road. What's important about this is not who's managing the company. The cement business is not rocket science. You control costs, you get into growth markets. The important thing is that the deal can be done and those costs can be taken out. They've removed a competitor from the market. It makes sense. The money is more substantive. So what have they done there? They've changed the, the, the ratio. The ratio was one to one. and a, uh, So one wholesome share for each uh, Lafarge share. And what that means in effect, it was one to one. Now it is 10 to 9. And the effect is it was going to be that Lafarge shareholders were going to own some 47% of the new company. Now it's something like 43. So a little more of the economics go to wholesome shareholders. This is actually still a very good deal for Lafarge shareholders because they're contributing a lot less value to the deal, I think, than wholesome because of their margins and their cash flow generation and where they're located and so forth. So still a good deal. So even, even with the worst ratio, it's still worth the deal going ahead for the past shareholders. Absolutely, and it's worth it for both companies. It's a very sensible merger from the point of economic logic, and it's good, it's good that they've gotten over these personality conflicts, gotten over these economic conflicts, and they're getting on with it. Well, big cement deal seems to be back on. Rob, thanks very much. Sure.